one minute. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a fourth round singles match, Australian Open. On the chair's left, from France, Henri Lacant. On the chair's right, from the United States, John McEnroe. This match will be the best of five sets. First four sets tie break, fifth set advantage. Mr. Lacant won the toss, elected to serve. John McEnroe is a three times winner of Wimbledon, four times United States Open champion. He won the Masters earlier this year and has won eight other tournaments, the US Pro Indoors, WCT Houston, Milan, Chicago, WCT Atlanta, the Volvo International, Canadian Open, and Stockholm for the fourth time. His opponent, a very well-credentialed player, member of the French Davis Cup team, he's now ranked 19 in the world. He was a winner at Stockholm in 83 as a former French junior champion, former winner at Kitzbühel, won the title last year at Stuttgart, and this year taking out the Grand Prix title at Nice, reached the quarters at Wimbledon, the round 16 of the United States Open, and more recently here in Australia was a finalist in the Custom Credit Australian Indoors, losing ultimately right. to Van Lindel, along the way defeating Wally Masur, Brian Teacher, Andres Gomez, and John Fitzgerald. And one of the most exciting players on the uh, world circuit at the moment, Henri Leconte. If he starts stringing them together, uh, he could really trouble McEnroe in this match. To serve. And McEnroe certainly will have to uh, start off better than he did uh, yesterday. Start from Leconte as we watch this overhead from him. He wouldn't class grass as his favourite surface, I'm sure, but we did see him play some very good tennis in the Davis Cup out here a couple of years ago at White City. Game Leconte, first game. A very confident start by Henri Leconte before a packed gallery in front of court one. John McEnroe had some trouble with the big serving in Duke or Otters or yesterday, then I'm sure he knows he's in for a pretty tough match this afternoon. This match at the bottom of the draw. The winner will play the match that's currently in progress on centre court between Tim Mayot, the tournament's number eight seed, and Slobodan Bobo Zivijinovic. Bottom half of the draw, very, very strong. Players still in there, including Johan Creek, Jay Lapidus, Tim Wilkerson, Mats Valander, and as I mentioned, Mayot and Zivijinovic, the other pairing. Time. And John McEnroe to serve for the first time in the match. Henri Leconte holding serve very comfortably in the opening game. McEnroe to serve. McEnroe with that uh, upper left thigh bandaged, which he didn't have yesterday. Hasn't got the headband on today either. Oh. 
15, love. Here he might have had the bandage on when he played Danny Visser, Alan. Yes, he did. He had it on the first yeah. match, not the second. Back today. Thirty, love. First serve. Well, let's watch this backhand. It'll be the first of quite a few from Leconte's racket. Second serve. Game McEnroe. One game off. So John McEnroe holding serve fairly comfortably. Backhand winner from the Conf of the highlights of the game. Fifteen love. That could be an area where we could notice some differences between the two players. Conn's a good volleyer, but not probably as uh, good as McEnroe in that department. that Leconte uh, had plenty of time and space in which to place that one. He probably had too much time to think about that. <laughs> we shouldn't uh, 
cost him in this situation, but it will as the match gets closer. that run just about on the baseline. Yes. Let's watch that again now. McEnroe comes out with a half volley. Top spin love here. Beautifully controlled. So Leconte, after what appeared to be a comfortable service game, take it to Deuce. McEnroe. Well, that missed easy volley a couple of points ago may cost him sooner rather than later, as that shot gives McEnroe break point. First one of the set. McEnroe starting off, it would appear much better today than he did yesterday. Against Nduka Rotazor. Oh, he's over hit that. McEnroe, McEnroe breaks. McEnroe leads two games to one first set. Well, I mentioned that uh, McEnroe was a little superior in the volleying department, but I uh, wasn't expecting to see Henri Leconte really back me up so <laughs> strongly there. <laughs> Missed a couple of pretty straightforward volleys there. He should have made them. Yes, particularly the 40-15 one. Uh, that was a shot there that would have given him the game. And once McEnroe got the juice, he sensed a big opportunity for an early break. And then on that last shot, another shot that Leconte probably uh, could have been expected to handle, and he took too big a swing and hit it well out. Court one, John McEnroe and Henri Leconte. McEnroe has the break of serve. reading that shot as well to pick this one up and then watch him here effortless just glides across and pushes it back down the line he certainly looks sharper today doesn't he, he sure does the seats for this match were taken even before the previous doubles match got underway I think it did, yes. He had a play on it. 15 off. A slight mishit there from the racket of Leconte. Always a difficult one to judge when a player mishits it like that and plenty of topspin on it. Some of the very big crowd out there. It seats about 1,500, but I would suggest there would be probably twice that number around the court on the drive, the clubhouse watching it. And they're even leaning over the uh, top of the stadium looking back down. Was called out, wasn't it? Leconte thought he made that shot. I thought he made it too. <laughs> Good lunge volley though initially from McEnroe to uh, stay in the point. Let's watch that again here. Heavy return. Yeah. 
Nick. First serve. Good. 30 off. hard to, to pick that one. There was quite a lot of aces uh, with the serves to the forehand actually. For a left hander you're leaning towards that big slice away to your backhand but McEnroe uh, it's a lot down to the forehand which of course today against another left hander would be to Leconte's backhand. Three games to one. McEnroe consolidating after breaking Leconte in the previous game. And it looks pretty sharp today, John McEnroe, the way he just fended off that last volley. That's the situation people watching even from centre court to get a vantage point to watch this match. Leconte serving down 1-3. Ah. 15 loves. So McEnroe has played two left-handers in his first three matches. Tony Bisser, a left-hander. More vantage points to watch the match. Rather high, perhaps, but offering a clear view nonetheless. Three two, McEnroe lead. McEnroe leads three games to two, first set. Well, two comfortable service games by Henri Leconte, the first of the match, and then that one there. And in the middle of those, in game number three, he dropped serve. And that may be all John McEnroe needs to go out and take out the first set. We saw a lot of service breaks in the first set with the Duca Rodazor. I've forgotten how many we had in succession, Alan, but it was quite a few, wasn't it? Yeah, it was four or five. Most unusual set of tennis, that. But McEnroe, it would appear today, at least, adopting a more conventional approach to his play. I guess it's uh, probably being hypercritical. He did win the match in four sets, but it was uh, a strange way he went about his task initially. Time. 
John McEnroe has the service break. 3-2 against Henri Leconte. McEnroe surprisingly staying at the baseline there, drops it too short, in comes Leconte. French fist. The Cotter's uh, famous for. Here he is again. Well, he's a spectacular shot maker, particularly off that backhand side. Tremendous power there. Not heavy top spin. Nice forward spin to uh, control it. And he's at 30 all here. McEnroe, as he does so often, coming up with a good serve when he needed it. There's the service action of uh, John McEnroe. The unusual stance in that he's uh, not facing where he's intending to hit. So he has to have rather a large uh, hip and shoulder turn. He pivot there to get swing his body round, but that second part, he really launches himself up and forward. Game McEnroe. McEnroe leads four games to two. And the end result is really it's a very uh, outstanding service. Yeah, the direction of it would be very hard to pick out. Yes, yeah, very hard. And of course he hits it so uh, hard. Here it is again. Almost has his back to you at that early start of the uh, position of the serve. Love 15. Oh, he's come out of the blocks a lot faster today than he did yesterday. And blasting a winner past Lecon for the first point of the seventh game. Fifteen off. Serving from Henri Leconte. 
slightly more conventional 15. conventional service action from Henri, but very quick second part of the swing. Works up a lot of pace as that uh, really increases the racket head speed. Pretty quick swing. Game Lacan. McEnroe leads 4 3. McEnroe leads four games to three, first set. Well, some good serving there, some power serving by the French Davis Cup player after McEnroe had blasted a winner past him earlier in the game. He couldn't repeat the dose, but the con's still down the one break of serve. He has one point from McEnroe's service, so I didn't think he'd consider himself out of the set yet. Got a couple of chances to break the New Yorker before the set reaches its conclusion. games to three on court one. Oh, Gee, spectacular pick up there from Lacan. Love 15. Got to take those balls nice and early as it comes deep on the grass court. Now watch how early he comes forward to take that short back swing. Whip that ball across court. 15 off. Just can't put two together at the moment. Some great shot making by Leconte. 30 off. Yes, let's watch it again. Again off the forehand and again cross court. And let's see now if he can follow it up with a second to give him the break opportunity. Slight opportunity now, he's facing a second service. Oh, there's that clinch of the fist again. 30, 40. As the con gets a break back point, and we take another look at that. So he does put two together. 